The Winchester Mansion, a house of mystery, a house of wonder. This is Horror Night. Alright guys, we're back with Horror Night. I'm Zero. Thank you for joining me. It's October. Let's get creepy. Now, the Winchester Mansion, also known as the Winchester Mystery House. What is it? Uh, and how did, how did it start? Well, I guess I'll take you back to more of the beginning of the story, obviously. So we'll start with Sarah Winchester, who is the one who kind of housed this, this place, so... She had her husband, uh, William Wirt, I believe was his name, and she had a daughter as well. They lived somewhere on the east of the United States. I'm not sure where, to be honest, and don't quote me on that. I just know they didn't live where the house ended up getting built. Um, so uh, so her, her husband died in 1881, and shortly after that, her daughter died from tuber- uh, tuberculosis, I believe it was. And she was wondering, what's going on? Why did I lose my family? Uh, So she went to a Boston medium. And the medium told her she was being hunted, or not hunted, haunted by uh, all the the spirits that were murdered by Winchester rifles. Because their name was Winchester. That was the family name. And the Winchester rifles were made by the Winchesters. Surprise, surprise. So... This medium tells her she has to trap these or confuse these spirits somehow to get away from them, you know, because they're they're haunting her. They're they're going after her, and she believes that, that was the reason why her daughter died and her husband died it was because those spirits were coming for her next. So, fast forward, she moves to San Jose. I think 1884, somewhere around there, she goes all the way to San Jose, California. She buys this little eight-room farmhouse there. And she hires... At this point, she's rich because she inherited money. So she's rich for that time. She's very, very rich. So she hired construction workers to work 24 hours a day from 1884 to 1922 to continuously build just stuff in this house. Just build rooms, build stairs, build closets, build whatever. Just continue building. And in the end, it became this really confusing kind of horror house. But she wanted it to be that way because she wanted to trap the spirits. She wanted to confuse them. She had like a ton of different bedrooms. Uh, Rumor has it she would sleep in a different bedroom every night. Not even the workers would know where she is half the time. She was very reclusive when she moved there. Very reclusive. Um... So she would just build these these rooms. There was there was st- stairwells that literally went to nothing. That just went to nothing. And there were there's a door on the second floor that literally leads to open space. Like it just you would walk through and you would fall down a floor onto the ground outside. It's crazy. It's you know I don't know what it must have been like for the workers to be there. And she passed away in 1922. And when she passed away, the workers just up and stopped building. Obviously, they just stopped. And that was that. And the house stands as it was. There's a lot of unfinished projects, a lot of weird just architectural designs in that house. Some of it's actually quite beautiful, but there's some of it that's just obviously makes no sense. Um, now there's different theories about everything and why it happened. There's some theories as to she was in some kind of secret society and that's why, or maybe she was just completely crazy. You know, there's obviously there's a lot of theories out there. I think the one about the Winchester uh, rifles and confusing the spirits sounds about right. I mean, maybe she was a little crazy. I would be too if I lost my, my, uh, significant other and my kid, (laughs) um, I have a few other interesting facts here to share with you guys about the about the place. There's the number 13. You'll see that pop up a lot around the house. 
like 13 stairs on a staircase or 13 panels on something or I think there was like 13 parts in her will as well the number 13 is just very like it just sits everywhere around the house there's just constant 13s uh, whatever that means whether she liked the number 13 whether it meant something to her I don't know that's just kind of interesting and one part I found really creepy and also interesting is there's a room in the house called the blue room or like the seance room I think it's known as too I call it the blue room because there was like blue doors in there or something and it said that she entertained the nice spirits there on some nights even the workers claim that she would entertain nice spirits there at night whatever that means what did they do in there like play Yahtzee or something what were they doing did she like try and summon nice spirits to have conversations with them I don't I don't really know what was going on in that room I don't think anyone ever will know I don't think I'd want to go in that room although it's kind of interesting another thing about that room is that there's one, uh, one way in and three ways out now I know that doesn't make sense but there's the main door to go in the room but then there's like this crawl space in like a closet or an attic there in that room that leads to somewhere else in the house where you can escape and then there's also like a, a, a panel on the floor that just opens up and leads like above the kitchen sink or one of the kitchen sinks for no reason like she planned like these escape rooms in there so she could escape if she needed to or maybe that was just a flaw of the constant building they just built things for the heck of it because a lot of it is just nothing like a door there's doors that open up to just a wall and there's like staircases that lead to just a ceiling so you really don't know like what was going on in their minds with all the building half the stuff that's in there there's some rooms that are very well put together and then there's other ones that just make no sense at all so if she really was hiding from these spirits did it work? Did she come in contact with them? Did she see any? Nobody knows. She was very reclusive. Um, now, there was a photo taken of her at the mansion outside. She has a little bit of a veil over her, her face. She was not photographed often at all. This, in fact, is, I think, one of the only documented photos of her. And I'm going to show you that to you guys uh, right now. So there she is, Sarah Winchester. Um, it's just, I don't know, it's just creepy. The whole thing is just creepy. Like, there are tours that you can go on there. Like, there's, there's obviously a very big tourist attraction in San Jose. Now, I would want to go if I was ever in the area. I think I'd be very interested in going and just seeing. But it's just certain areas of the house. They don't show you everything, obviously. You know, there are probably certain rooms they don't want you to see. Um, and you can't like spend the night there or anything. So it's like during the day you go, you get a few look at some rooms, probably learn about the history of the house and Sarah and the Winchester name, which is all probably pretty interesting. Um, but I'd want to like spend a night there, you know, and just see if I see anything or hear anything. Like is the spirit of Sarah herself still roaming the halls? Is it lost? within the catacombs of the Winchester Mystery House. What other spirits are trapped there? That's what I'd want to know. And if I was staying there with a few people, maybe I would do it. Not by myself. No way. <laughs> I believe too much about that kind of thing that I would not want to do that by myself. But they don't allow you to. I think it would be smart to open it up to like a, a tourist thing or, you know, to like let people spend the nights there. They could probably make a lot of money that way if they like you know, rented out some of the rooms for a night or two. I don't know how the rooms are. Like, they're probably very, some of them are probably really hard to get to just because it's so weird. I mean, there's pictures on the outside. Even some of the pictures from the outside of the the uh, mansion, it kind of looks kind of normal, but then when you, you know, you really look at it, you're like, oh, that's really weird. Like, just things that don't make sense about it. Um, place is huge, too. It's just, it's like huge. I don't know how many rooms are there now or anything like that. There's like, I mean, probably like 13 bedrooms since you like the number 13, right? I'd be interested to see the blue room. I don't know if I'd want to be in there at night, but I'd be interested in going and seeing it and just 
seeing if what they say is true about it. Like, does it really have like three escapes and just one entrance? So this whole thing is just, it's something I know a lot of, it's a lot of people have talked about this before all, all over the internet, all over YouTube. It's something I've looked into a lot of times. I've always found it very interesting. So I wanted to do my own take on it for my channel and talk about it and like just how interesting I think the whole thing is. Whether you believe it or not, it's still kind of a weird thing to happen. Because, like it or not, the Winchester Mansion is real. It stands. It's here. It's there today. You go to San Jose there, it's going to be there. It's actually, you know, whether it was just her going crazy or whether there was actually spirits after her. We won't really know, but it is kind of creepy to think about, isn't it? But you guys can always let me know in the comments what you think. What's really going on at the Winchester Mystery House? Do you think she was in a secret society? Do you think she was crazy? Do you think there was spirits after her? I Obviously, I'd really like to know what you guys uh, think about this. Um, there's a lot of different ways. There's no wrong answer here, you know, because no one really knows for sure. I wish we could, but I don't know. But it feels good to be back for Horror Night, guys. It's October, my favorite month of the year. I want to have a lot of fun on this channel. I want to do at least another episode of Horror Night this month for you guys. That's a different pace for the channel, I know. But it's just, I love doing this. I love just hanging out with you guys and just kind of just talking. And, you know, just kind of analyzing, you know, these, these topics that we have. Um, and I always liked your suggestions, too. Somebody had suggested one about paranormal uh, witness interviews. And, uh, you know, me kind of reacting to them and seeing what I think of them. I think that would be kind of interesting to hear, you know, supposed uh, interviews of people who had seen paranormal things and you know, what they had to say about it. That would be kind of fun. But, um, yeah, I mean... I do want to go to the Winchester Mystery House at some point. If I do have an opportunity to go there one day, I will. Um, and I'll certainly, if I'm still doing the channel, then I will certainly give you guys some feedback on that in some way, whether it's like pictures or a video or something. Um, I, it's just crazy that she moved all the way like across the country just to build this house and try and trap these spirits. I just find it very creepy. I remember I used to read about this story and watch videos on it with my brother, and we just get creeped out about it. And I'm like, wow, like, I don't ever want to go in there. Like, who knows what kind of evil spirits are lurking within the walls of that, of that house. But there's nothing like it on the entire planet. That's all I'm going to say. Like, there's no architectural piece in this world that's going to be even close to what that's going to look like. I, like I, I've only seen pictures and videos. I can't imagine what it actually looks like in person, like how big it is and just how confusing it is. Like You could get lost in there. Imagine if you were on a tour guide there. Just imagine this. So you were on a tour guide there. Maybe you went like late afternoon, like 5 o'clock or something, you know. The sun's starting to go down, but you know, you're with your tour guide. You step off away to another room when nobody's watching just to, you know, peek and look and you, you suddenly you're wandering through a hallway or another doorway. What if you got lost in there? Like, <laughs> after, like, the tour guide, like, they'd have to, like, go and try and find you, and you, like, you just got lost in there, and, like, it got dark, and you couldn't see. That'd be kind of creepy, like, getting lost in there. It'd be like getting lost in the Paris catacombs. <laughs> no thanks. No thanks. Uh, but, uh, yeah, guys, I don't know what else to say about this, just that I really want to go, I want to see it for myself, and just, I totally believe that there, something creepy could have been going on there with the spirits, because uh, it's not normal to have something like this, it just isn't, but, um, hope you guys enjoyed this video, I really do, and thank you for supporting my channel this series and just anything on my channel it means a lot to me everybody that comes in with a view a comment a like a subscription whatever it is um it really does mean a lot to me it helps me keep keep me going you know this you guys really do keep me going here um sometimes i'm down in the dumps and i just feel like 
I can't do this channel anymore. Like, is it even worth it? Like, am I making a difference? But you guys keep showing up, you know, here and there, and it's just keeping me going. So I can't thank you enough. And hope to see you all on the next Horror Night. Please come join me. I might do a live stream of a Horror Night this month too. Where I just kind of pick a topic. Or maybe just just go on a whim and just kind of wing it. <laughs> it might be kind of fun. But thank you again for watching. And until next time everybody. Zero is the number. <laughs>